Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello, Carla, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. All right. Um, hello, Heidi, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm ready. Good. I like that that answer. <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay. Welcome. Are you having trouble with your camera, Heidi? Good evening. Good evening, Anna Claudia. Oh, okay. Good evening. Yes. Welcome. Welcome, Heidi. Welcome, Marvin. Welcome, Andres. Welcome, uh, Janet. How are you guys today? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Um, all right. Well, today is the last day of the week. Um, you know, so how was your week? How has your week been? Pretty good? Not so good? Sorry? Sorry, I don't know. Andres. Topollillo. Ay, no, qué malo so. Es que se le escucha la voz diferente, rara, Andres Giovanni. Ah, fue Giovanni, es que no, no, no pude. Es que se le desconfigura el micrófono, creo yo, o, o no sé, algo le pasa, pero siempre, en algún momento le pasa, ¿verdad? Ay, Giovanni? pero no sé, sí, si no, no va a querer nunca participar el pobre. No, no él sabe que es broma. <risa> Hable, Andrés. <risa> oh, my, no, no. No, don't worry about it, Johnny. It's okay. It happens to everybody. I, you know what? Um, I had a student. It was, um, it was. Uh, I had a student that uh, his microphone really, really. Um, it scared everybody because uh, when I don't know why it, it was, it would really disconfigure, and it sounded like a monster. Like that, and it was horrible. <laughs> Horrible. There is a configuration issue. There are yes. some voices effects you make. Yes, it, it really sounded like, you know, like from a, it sounded like from a horror movie kind of thing. Like it was really weird. And, you know, at the, at the beginning, like the first few days of the class, I would get scared, but then I remembered, you know, and I was like, oh, okay, you know, I would always anticipate, <laughs> you know, and then I would say, Oh no no, Fulanito! Uh, don't for, don't remember. Don't forget to to change your microphone. And then he said, "Oh, oh I'm sorry, sorry, I forgot." But um, and then after that, he would remember. So you know, don't worry about it, uh, Giovanni. It's I, I've had worse situations. Don't worry. Okay, it happens. It happens to everybody. Um, at some point, uh, you know, the microphones. There are microphone issues. There are camera issues. You know, that's just life. You just got to live with it. Okay. Um, do you, have you been able to find what's the problem with the configuration joining or not yet? I don't know. Uh, can you hear me better or yes. it's the same? Yeah. yeah, we can hear you perfectly now. Okay. Yeah. I think it's always at the beginning of the conference. I don't know what is the problem, but before I, I had the same problem too. Oh, okay. Yeah, it might be the com the, uh, the configuration. Do you, um, yeah, maybe you have to, what I would suggest, uh, insert the, um, insert the headphones before and do a test. Do a test with, um, 
with, with, the, with the, the headphones before or the, the earphones before uh, you, you come in and then it might work that way. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's probably the, the, um, the, the earphones that are the problem that when if they're probably don't match, like they have some sort of difficulty, like maybe the two, sometimes when the brand names are different and they, they kind of, they're not compatible, that, that may happen. So, yeah. Okay. Well, guys, welcome. Um, I'm happy to see all of you, especially because it's Friday. Woo! All right. Um, so, uh, how are you guys feeling about um, the weekend? Any plans for the weekend? Anything interesting, exciting on the weekend? No? Nothing? Nothing exciting? Uh, I work. I work the... That's the, good. The weekend. You work on the weekend? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. That's not that good. Okay, so you're working all weekend? Yeah, Saturday wow. and Monday, Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Wow, okay. But and but when do you get to rest? And Friday, you... the next weekend. Friday, next weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the next weekend. Oh, Okay, so you were, you get to rest three days together. Yes. That's nice. That is yeah. very nice. Yeah, okay. All right, so something to look forward to for the future. Okay, all right, guys. And what about the rest of you? Anybody doing something interesting on the weekend? Something you want to share, you're excited about? No? Okay. All right, well, I do hope you guys have something interesting to do, you know, at least, uh, you know. To, to sleep. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that works too. Well, the yeah. woman say this, say that. Yes, sleep. Well, you know, it's important to, to get enough sleep, I think, you know. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't, during the week, I don't really, sleep very much i don't rest um like i should so you know it catch up in catching up on the sleep is not a bad idea okay well guys we're let's start with our attendance to begin with uh we don't want to uh fall behind too much um so we'll start with uh anna claudia present teacher wonderful welcome and uh uh andres Present teacher. Welcome, uh, Edgar. Edgar, no, right? No, Edgar. Okay, no, Edgar. Okay. Uh, Janet. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Fabiola. Fabiola, not here. Uh, Heidi? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Irene? Irene, 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 Irene. No, Irene, okay, no, Irene. Uh, Ivan? Present, present teacher. Welcome, Irene. Oh Thanks. my gosh, conference. We have double, we, we have a Juan Francisco duplicate. <laughs> Why? De repente me apareció twins. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay. So Juan Francisco is definitely here. Um, eh, Josue? Presentation. Okay. Welcome, Josue. Jerry? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Jerry. Carla. Thank you. Present teacher. Welcome, uh, Melissa. Melissa? Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, Luis? Luis? Luis, Luis, Luis? Oh, I think he's just connecting. Hello, Luis. Hello, teacher. Okay, you're right on time. I was calling your name. Okay, it's okay. I have a trouble with the internet. Okay, okay. Well, I'm glad you you just connected because uh, I, like I literally was calling your name. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, Manuel. Manuel, no. Okay. Marvin. Yes, and teacher. Welcome, and Wendy. Wendy. Present teacher. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Welcome, Wendy. Warner. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Warner. Uh, Yvonne? Present teacher. Yvonne? Present. Welcome, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Francisco Javier? Special conditions for granting credit. Francisco Javier? No? Okay. Uh, Jenny? Jenny, Jenny, Jenny? No. Okay. All right. So I'll just quickly repeat the people that I didn't hear. Uh, Edgar, Fabiola, Irene, Melissa, Manuel, Francisco, Javier, and Jenny. Yes? Okay, nobody else. Okay, so I guess those are the people. All right, great. So guys, um, we are going to begin our um, class. First of all, let's take a look at the PowerPoint. Please tell me when you can see it. Now, teacher. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so, so this is a beginner module six, unit two, staff and schedule. Today is our last day with this unit. And the date is Monday, June 20, uh, 4th, 2021. It's day number 10, facilitator Jessica Guerrero. Okay, actually, you know what, now that I just mentioned uh, that it's the last day with unit two, I'm going to stop sharing because I want to tell you something important. Um, okay, first of all, today is officially our last day with unit two. That means that you need to have finished unit two by tonight. Okay, all of the homework by tonight of unit two. And you also have to have finished the midterm, okay? Because tomorrow, remember tomorrow, which is Saturday, the first thing that um, I'm going to do like very early uh, Saturday morning, I have to update your, um, your grades and send them to in support. So that means that um, I, I need to have it done for today. Like you guys tonight have to finish uh, all of the, uh, the, um, uh, the exercises from unit two and the midterm, okay? Uh, is there anybody that is having problems with that right now that I can help you with? No? Teacher, I have problem with the midterm. Okay, okay, good, good. I, I mean, not, not good that you have problems, but good that you're telling me. <laughs> okay, so um, tell a, me. There is, a part where, there is a part where you unscramble the word uh, for two sentences, but I cannot write. There's uh, a line and I cannot write. That is the, uh, that it was, uh, similar corrected Haiti in the homework there there is a word I remember the the one from staff the one I guess campus. yes but I done it uh, and it works because I had it correct the, the you say the part number four right 
the one for four, Anastrama? Uh -huh. The question number but four and number five. Yes. It, all the words, you can use all the words. It works because I got them correct. I try to write. I try mm -hmm. to write and I, and, and, and I couldn't. Try because I use the same words. <laughs> Okay. Yesterday, yesterday I finished and I at uh, the first moment I had problem, but I maybe it was at the point that I, you need to put at the end of the uh -huh. sentence. Maybe that is your problem. Uh -huh. Period. The period. The period. I'm sorry. And the uh, capital letter at the beginning. Remember. Right. Because yeah. it works. Um. Yeah. Right uh, now I'm checking it. Um. I'm checking it, and. Yes, we are, we are able to use all of the words. I'm literally checking it as we speak. And yes, it's, it doesn't seem to have any problems from- It's from the order, you need to try. Yeah, just make sure you have it in the correct order. And put the, yeah, make sure you have correct punctuation. That includes periods, capital letters. Um, a space too. Spaces, yeah. So if you have like like an extra space at the beginning and you don't notice it, that that may that's going to give you a big problem, right? Or at the end, if you put a, a, a space at the end that you didn't notice, that's also going to give you a problem. So, but yes, I'm I'm checking it right now and it all looks perfect. It looks like all the words fit. They use they use all the words that. So yes, so it should be okay. All right. A anything else okay. that you guys uh, want to ask about that I can help you? Okay. No. From what I can, what I have been able to check, um, there shouldn't. There's really no. I mean, all the the answers are complete. I don't see any. At least from my point of view, I don't see any problems. But if there are. Like, please let me know so I can so I can report them. Okay, so we're okay. Yeah, okay. So once again, I'm going to remind you, I need you guys to complete all of unit two and the midterm. Okay, because tomorrow early, I'm sending the, um, the grades, okay? All right, um, because it's something that we have to be doing uh, every Saturday at the beginning. We have to send it. So it's it's fortunately it's not because I don't want to give you more time. It's just because I I have a time limit. You know, I have to complete it by a certain time. So um, that's why I need you guys to do it early. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So uh, oh, the other thing is the following. Um, I'm actually going to say this in Spanish because I, I don't I don't want any of the information to be lost at all. This is very very important information. Eh, el día de hoy les tuvo que haber llegado a la información a eh, de los documentos a recursos humanos, verdad, de, de, de su empresa, verdad. Eh, pues como no sé no sé si todos ustedes tienen uh, contacto directo ahí con Eh, recursos humanos, pero si no es así, pues eh, ya saben, ¿verdad? Recursos humanos tuvo que ver, eh, ya, ten, uh, ya debería estar en sus manos la información. Ahora, ¿qué significa eso? Significa algunas cosas, entre ellos de que ya ten, tenemos una eh, fecha límite para entregar documentos. Eso es el lunes 14. O sea, en otras palabras, de lunes que viene al siguiente, ¿ok? Les, eso les da suficiente tiempo para ahí asegurarse que si sí lo manden a tiempo. Estamos prácticamente hablando de que como 10 días, en lo cual es perfecto, ¿verdad? Yo creo que es más que suficiente para que estén ahí as, um, uh, asegurándose de que sí se hayan mandado. Fecha límite es el 14, les repito. Voy a estar repitiendo, ¿verdad? Eso durante todo eh, lo que resta el curso o por lo menos la próxima semana, pero igual quiero que ustedes estén pendientes de eso. Acuérdense que uh, muchas veces hay, trabajan, o sea, las empresas trabajan así con un poquito de presión, ¿verdad? O sea, 
y es comprensible porque tienen tantas cosas que hacer que a veces se les olvida. No es que no quieran ayudarles, no es verdad, sino que a veces simplemente se les olvida. Tienen tantas cosas que um, eh, a veces piensan que ya lo hicieron y no lo han hecho. Entonces, estén por favor pendientes, no de estar llamando a Inglés Proporativo a preguntar si lo mandaron, sino que preguntar en su empresa, directamente en, en Recursos Humanos el, de su empresa que sí lo hayan mandado y asegurarse de eso, ¿verdad? Si se si le dicen, mire, fíjese que lo vamos a mandar esta semana, no se, no se quede con eso, o sea, asegúrese, ¿verdad? Que sí lo hayan mandado el día que, que les han dicho. Lo otro es de que uh, la fecha en tentativa, si no me equivoco, también les, les pusieron esa información. La fecha tentativa, y les pongo esa palabra tentativa eh, en um, subrayada porque todo va a depender de los documentos que recibamos, ¿verdad? Eh, la fecha es para el 28, 28 de junio. Entonces, eh, nosotros se supone que tendríamos que terminar, si no, si no me equivoco, el 21. ¿Ok? Eh, entonces, ¿por qué el 21? ¿Alguien me dice por qué el 21, que es lunes? ¿Por qué terminamos un lunes? Por Father's Day. Por el día del Padre. Y por el festivo, no me acordaba. Porque el próximo jueves, oh, no, pero no, el próximo jueves, en, ya, ya, ya les voy a cambiar el, el horario. No, eh, de, un, de, de ese jueves que viene al, al siguiente, o sea, la última semana, el jueves cae eh, 17 de junio, el cual es un día eh, de suelto, ¿verdad? Entonces no vamos a tener clase, pero por supuesto no les podemos quitar ese tiempo, entonces lo reponemos el 21. Eso significaría que terminamos un día más tarde, que significaría para el 21 de junio. Entonces, les cae, ¿verdad? Como una, una, unos días ahí para descansar y fecha tentativa para el 28. Pero todo tiene que ver eh, con que ustedes um, todos manden um, ahí su documentación a tiempo. También eh, les, les ha, si no me equivoco, les ha llegado una encuesta. ¿Sí? Os, no sé si ustedes ya revisaron, pero sí, sí. Que ya revisaron. Les habría llegado una encuesta. Esta encuesta es diferente a la encuesta que nosotros hacemos al final de la clase. ¿Verdad? Ustedes saben que Insafor nos pide que hagamos una actividad de encuesta para Insafor. En este caso, eh, la otra encuesta no es para Insafor. Esto es algo interno que ustedes pueden completar por su propia cuenta. ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, por favor, complétenlo, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿verdad? Con con sus respuestas más honestas, ¿verdad? Y sinceras, ¿verdad? Y pues um, eh, nos agradeceríamos mucho que puedan ahí completar esa información. Uh, ¿Alguna preguntita hasta el momento sobre eso? No. ¿Está todo claro? Yes, teacher. ¿Sí? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So in that case, uh, we are going to uh, continue. Okay. So yesterday, um, we heard some presentations, but we didn't hear all the presentations. So I told you that today we were going to finish with the rest of the class, right? And if I'm not mistaken, the people that um, need to do the, that, that still have not done it here, are Juan Francisco, Marvin, Jury, Wendy, Jenny, Warner, Edgar, Luis, Fabiola, Manuel Alejandro, Francisco, Javier, and Alyssa. Am I correct? Marvin, no. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, so what we're gonna Va do- Va a ser el primero. <laughs> I know. So what we're going to do is we're going to, just like yesterday, we're going to see randomly who, uh, who, is the, who are the people um, that um, are going to pass, who is going to be passing first and so on. So let's see. 
Um, okay. Okay, hold on, wait, 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 just give me a second. So just just um, so that we remember what we're doing. Is this the presentation, which is prepare a mini presentation about the scheduled activities or or five, uh, sorry, the scheduled activities for or five employees do at your workplace. Create a timetable similar to the one in part three, which is on page 23, like something like this. And then share the presentation with the class use in the chart to help yourself okay so you're going to be able to come to share the chart um you know from your screen right just like we did yesterday all right so let me share the audio so you can hear that i'm not i'm doing it randomly okay <laughs> here we go Jenny, is Jenny here? Ah, no, Jenny's not here. Salvo, Jenny. Okay, bye. All right. We're, well, I'm going to keep Jenny on, on just in case she, she connects later. So I'm, I'm still going to have her. Okay. All right. So let's uh, continue. Here we go. Melissa, get them. Melissa, no, right? Okay, all right, we're gonna have to move on. Okay. También salió Jenny otra vez. Wow, como que no quiere. Okay. <laughs> I, I swear I did not uh, plan this. Marvin. <laughs> Marvin is not here. Marvin's not here. Uh, but it's his twin. That's you. <laughs> his twin. <laughs> okay, go for it. Go for it, Marvin. Ahorita le está chat a José. Pásame el schedule de ayer. Mentira, Marvin. Me escucha. Ahora sí. Sí, yes. y, y yes. pueden ver la presentación. Yes. Ok. Ok. In my workplace uh, has a rotating shift. And the sugar tasks are carried out by the people to whom the sheet corresponds. Uh, in my workplace, in one in a regular days, uh, are four or five people in the branch. And this case is operator system. The operator system uh, is in a charge the operation of equipment ACBM scanner. Uh, the gesture documental. Uh, the gesture documental is in charge to, to make the data set and the manager, the supervisor, uh, traffic marshal. The traffic marshal is in charge of give instruction to drivers in moment that they entrance to the runaway. And in this case, uh, only two ship, but uh, I have one shift more is to 10, p 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Is this is all, teacher. Okay, very good. Um, so you have uh, the shift from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., you said. 
To 6 a.m., perdón. To 6 a.m., okay. What do you call that kind of sh shift from 10 a.m. 10 p.m. to 6 a.m.? What do you call that shift? In, in this case, uh, shift three. No, no, but what, what do you call the shift when you uh, work during? Uh, shift, shift night. Great. It's the, night shift. the night shift is it's like evening. after like a six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the night shift. But during the time when people are supposed to be sleeping, what kind of shift is that? What do you call that? Do you remember, Marvin? Really? No, teacher. No? Okay. Who remembers? Who do you remember? Regular. Sorry? Graveyard. Graveyard. The graveyard shift. Yeah, exactly. I'll put it in the chat. Okay. Graveyard shift. A graveyard? What is, it? What is a graveyard? What is graveyard? Anybody know what a graveyard is? No? When the people were at the night. Yeah, that's right. But the word. But the word graveyard, you said no. Nobody knows? Graveyard is, literally means cemetery. Mm, I was about to mention that. <laughs> okay, cemetery. So, you know, um, that is uh, now. Um, so, graveyard shift is, is the basically the idea is that. Um, you know, during those hours, most people do not want to work. That like, most people are scared of working that that uh, that time, right? Just like being in a graveyard, right? You don't want to be in a graveyard at that time of the night, right? That is the reason for the name of that shift. Exactly, graveyard shift. Uh huh. Okay. So le <laughs> Okay. And, right. and the graveyard. A teacher and for example i was working on a cemetery for me the graveyard is the place you leave the the person la, el, el, ay, la caja de cemento que donde se deja el, el fallecido es que en los cementerios privados son unas cajas de cemento que están en el suelo entonces oh, se criptas uno lo conoce como cripta that, that's a that's a grave that's a grave. Ah, so the grave. But graveyard is still in place. Yeah, it's like, think about a grave, like, uh, sorry, sorry, think about a yard, mm -hmm. remember, right? So it's like, yeah. like a, a big, let's say garden yeah. say, of different people that, um, you know, all, all the different graves, the tombs, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Ah, okay, good. The graveyard, mm -hmm. okay? But you, usually like graveyards are not, like they, because you know there are different types of cemetery, right? Like like being honest, there are different types of cemetery. There are cementaries that you know are beautiful. Look, they look like a garden, right? I was working in one of those, <laughs> but they don't use uh, high uh, images or something like that. Right. No, yeah, just plates. Yeah, exactly. And then there's other ones that you know are not the prettiest thing. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> That, you know, gra uh, graveyard is basically just like, a, it's not, it, it, it's, 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 it's not a, like a, a big, nice garden. It's basically mm -hmm. just like a big, like tombs all over the place, you know, scattered, exactly. scattered all over the place. I okay. got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, good. Let's continue. Um, let's move on to the next person, which is, let's see. Wendy. Thank you, Chair. Hi, Wendy. Hello. Uh, okay. Um, my presentation is different. Uh, yesterday I did what uh, drawing 
It's not the same. No. Uh, the my company, my my partner teacher, is different. Oh, okay, but can you share it with us? Okay. We just want us. Okay. Okay. All right. Talk about it. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, for example, uh, Ana Mojica is the cleaner in charge to the cleaning the office, the 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 office, uh, the bathrooms in other places the the company um joseph lopez is big is vigilant in charge to take care at company in the night uh, he uh, he has the crown in the company uh, the times the three times Nine p.m., uh, twelve a.m., and two a.m., and the finally is six p.m. Six a.m. Sorry, uh, is the end the tour. Uh, Peter Castillo is vigilant in charge to check the people access in the morning. This is the. He is in charge to check. And Mrs. Maribel in charge to answer the call. Uh, she's the receptionist. And John Smith is supervisor in charge to supervise the seamstresses uh, in the company. Uh, he in charge to uh, has a uh, report the production all day in the final day. And finally, Carla Ruiz uh, is secretary in charge to take note the his chief and other person they need the help. Uh, he in charge to uh, the um, sorry, what do you say? Brindar or dar? Okay. Sorry, okay. how do you say what? Uh, dar, dar or brindar? Take. Give. 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 Sorry. Give the the access to the offices or um, uh, for example we i need the uh, projector of the, she and charlie to uh, take me and this is my skill employee ana mojica the tour the morning shift is uh, cleaning jo Joseph Lopez is night chief, is vigilant. Peter Carrillo is morning chief, vigilant. John Smith is morning chief, is supervisor. Carla Ruiz is in the morning chief, is secretary. And Mrs. Maribel, the morning chief, receptionist. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Wendy, I have a question. So, um, Jose Lopez, is he uh, in the night shift? Or the graveyard shift? Uh, Jose Lopez, the graveyard shift. Graveyard shift, yeah. Graveyard shift, yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, good. Okay. All right. And um, how do you say vigilante in English? It's not vigilant. Vigilant is uh, vigilante de, o sea, manténgase vigilante. Okay. Stay vigilant. Uh, but, but the actual uh, job, how do you say vigilante, the job? Security, security, no. Security guard, exactly. Security oh. guard. Yeah, exactly. Se Security guard, guardian? 
no, no. Security guard, not guard, guard. Guard. Security yes. Guard. Security guard. Okay. I will. I will write it in the chat. Security guard. Guard. Como eyes. Ah, okay. Peter, yeah. mm -hmm. Peter, Peter Carrillo and Jose Lopez is security guard. Our security guards. Mm -hmm. Our security guards. Yes. Okay. okay. And um, when you say, for example, finally, don't say the finally. Just say finally. And, uh, finally. Not the finally, but just finally. And when, instead of saying at the final of the day, it's at the end of the day. In the, okay. in the end. You say al final del día, you say at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah. I'll write on the, at the end of the day. Okay. okay it's on the, it, it's in the chat. Okay. Thank, thank you, you very much. Very good, you, Wendy. Teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Let's um, let's continue with uh, the presentations. Okay, um, here we go. <laughs> Jenny sigue saliendo, creo que quizá la voy a I'm going to have to remove her. She's still not here, right? Yeah, she's probably not going to be here. So I'm just going to remove her. Edgar. Okay, teacher. One moment. Okay. Uh, we we can we we can see. Yeah. Yes, we can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. In my case, um, in company, um, in my company, uh, I have a, a team of four employees in charge of administrative process in Soyapango. Um, Nelson Benitez, Mario Gomez, Patricia Garcia, and Demar Garcia. Um, two job title, uh, Billing uh, assist, assist, assistant, assistant, and, and job title uh, administrative assistant. Um, the staff hours at between 8, 8, uh, 8 o'clock a.m. to, to 9, um, 9 o'clock p.m. Uh, the main activities are. Uh, number one, invoice sales uh, of order requests uh, by customers. Um, the re responsibility, the activities is uh, 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 Nelson Benitez and, and Mario Gomez. Uh, and activities number number two, uh, li li liquidate. Uh, Li li liqu liquidate uh, current account balance. And activity number three, receive the cash products of customer chargers. Uh, number four, in their shelters, uh, the ministry staff makes an, an accounting of the credit invoices. Uh, the shelters, uh, activity number five, and the shelters is uh, eight hours a day and is e equivalent uh, to 40, 40, 44 hours a weekend. Um, e activity number number six, uh, the rest day uh, distributed according to the time of service to this 
sales stuff. For example, um, Nelson Benitez, uh, which day um, and Sunday, and Patricia Garcia is, is, is similar. And Mario Gomez, uh, which day and Tuesday, and Demar Garcia, um, which, which day and Wednesday and Thursday. And the 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 time the time hours and the night the night hours um, the activities and and hours is at eight o'clock and twelve um como se dice mediodía um, medio medium medium hours oh no Mediodía, like like la sí. mitad del día, like uh, just ¿Sí? half a day. Half a day. Half a day, yes. Okay, half a day. But, uh, half a day de que trabajan solo mediodía. But yeah. if you're saying al mediodía, that would be noon or midday. Or midday, okay. Eight uh, o'clock or 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 mayday, yeah? Mid, midday. M midday. Midday. Okay. Yeah, okay. or noon, or, also say noon. Or, okay. Uh, the total hours is uh, uh, 40, 40, four, four, 40, uh, 44 hours only, only teacher. Okay, very, very good. Okay. Um, just, um, just wanted to mention, um, you said it, the word is job title, not ah, title, it would be title. Job title, job mm -hmm. title. Okay. Yes. Job title. It's, it's resting day. Resting. Resting. Uh, resting. Rest. Yeah, resting, resting day. day. Because the word resting is like used as an adjective. Okay. This is the de descanso. In that case, it would be resting. Resting is an adjective. It's a type of oh, thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, very resting good. Resting day. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. You can also, you can stop sharing as well. Are you, are you having trouble um, to stop sharing? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Nice. There we go. Okay, thank you very much. All right, let's move on. Let's see who is next. Um, Fabiola. But I I think Fabiola is not connected today. Yeah, I don't know, she's not there. Okay, so we're just going to remove her. Let's continue. Warner. Hey Warner, are you ready? Hi teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, one moment. Um, are you are you able to to share? I'm sorry, teacher. Problem. My computers are ready. 
Uh, I worked uh, in the Salvadorian Fencing Federation from uh, 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, from 12 to 2 p.m. I must organize the trainer of after uh, 3 p.m. Uh, to 8 p.m. Uh, we start the trainer with the selection of foils. Also, the initiation and development school with Francisco and Sara are the teacher to receive beginners to teach them the first steps in teaching fencing. Uh, they work from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. in two different groups. The national teams of foiled Epe and Disabled have the sound training scheduled. We work for the physical parts when we work the special uh, fencing park and finally the technical tactics park with a study and the free uh, fighting. Among the benefits of fencing is to create a hobby of sport discipline so that life enjoys good health. We seldom have fencing is diabetes or hypertensive is the practice uh, is all his life. And the technical managers uh, who is the chains of the supervision, the world planners of, of our fencers teacher, that's it. I don't know. Okay, okay, good. Um, so tell me about the shifts. What are the shifts? Um, repeat, please, teacher. Can you tell me what are the shifts? Um, Oscar Mejia. Uh -huh, but what, what are the, what kind of the shifts? Do they do? Um, uh, this is a, a technical managers. Uh -huh, so they sh what, what kind of shifts do they do? They do morning shifts, afternoon shifts, night shifts, graveyard shifts, what? Yes, uh, the, uh, it's similar uh, on the, old uh, the it works is the 12 uh, APM the 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 trabajo no sé, was, they work from 12 hours. to 8 p.m. yes so they work the afternoon shifts then. yes the afternoon no. and part of the night shift yes teacher ah okay 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 good all right uh, could, Warner, could you repeat how do you um how do you say the word Crear in English. Uh, crear is uh, great. Yeah. It's, great things. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. It's create. 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 The stress is on the eight. Create. Yes, create. Create. Create, create. yes. Very good. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Warner, you can go ahead and stop sharing. I'm sorry, teacher. You can, you can stop sharing the screen. Hi. It, are you having problems? So, to stop sharing? Todavía estamos viendo su pantalla. So we, we, you can... You can ah, sorry, teacher. No. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Let's um, move on to the next person. So... Manuel Alejandro. Manuel Alejandro here. 
Yes. Yes, teacher. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I logged in just now that I do not do the homework, teacher. You didn't? I have, I have not had a time at work to do it. Oh. Excuse me. Okay. Well, for next time then. Yes, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. No worries. Okay. Let's uh, then go on to the next one. Okay. Um, here we go. Luis. 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 Hello. Hello, Luis. We're ready for you. Um, I passed yesterday. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I was... <laughs> she wants it for you to repeat. <laughs> We want your presentation. This is a refill. <laughs> Instead of one that is not here, missing. Okay, I'm sorry, Luis. Okay, it's Don't for more. Worry. Pra it's okay. for more practice, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. In that case, I pues creo que son los que dos. Okay. Okay, here we go. Juan Francisco. Okay, Juan, we're ready for you. Okay, it's, uh, um, um, I think I missed the help the homework, but I'm going to share I what I did. So, sorry, Juan Francisco, I didn't understand. I, uh, I think I misunderstood. Uh, the homework, but I am going to check. Okay, no problem, no problem. Whatever you you did is okay. The important thing is to share. Okay, so it's okay if you didn't do it exactly like other people. Okay. So... Oh wow, you did a whole a whole presentation. That's wonderful. Okay. So bonita. <laughs> Yeah, very, very nice. Wow. No, he dice que no, he que lo misunderstood. <laughs> next level. Wow. Oh, next level. Yeah, well, you know, I don't mind misunderstanding like that. <laughs> okay. Modestia okay. aparte. Uh, <laughs> Uh, students, Juan Francisco Enrique Gonzalez, Benjamin English, Module 6, Friday, June 4th, um, 2012 in one. And topic, activity schedule, and the work. In my world, uh, there are different, different shifts and the activity, the sketchbook activity, the mechanic, the head part, mechanical part of the engine from the 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sorry. Uh, head part leads in engines um, fight from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Here fire steam lit in fight uh, from 7 a.m. to 5 
IPN uh, here by uh, four and oil purifier. Purifier. Uh, it support to operate with activity of chain from a a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, the next so, uh, the next is a uh, auxiliary operator. Uh, he is in he is in charge um, the activities. He watches the turbo twin. Uh, he checks the pressure of water top. Pumps. Uh, he support to operate with activity of shift. He watches and change the turbo turbo shell air filter when they are dirty. Uh, he check the full oil and explode exploded tank level and the town farm. Uh, the next is the is operator. He operated the generator from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. He checked the pressure, temperature, etc. in the generator from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, he checked the pressure level of sun and temperature in the age you from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, he operates the boiler. He checks the pressure and temperature from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. He maintains the electric motor when they fire. Uh, the next is uh, Operation supervisor, he does the same activity as the operator from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. He checks the data taken by the operator from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. He synchronizes and disconnects the power generation plan to the national network of CLEPA from Uh, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, he is in charge of the floor when the operation manager is not there from uh, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. He is in charge of receiving the engine that the mechanic delivers after a reply or my training. And Finally, operation manager, he does the same activities as the operators and operation supervisor. Uh, he is there of offering the plan of the kilowatt hour to the transportation unit. Uh, he is there of attending the meeting in the transportation unit. Uh, he is in charge of all the floor. He is in charge of uh, taking marine readings of construction and generation of all floor. And the next uh, is uh, a schedule in my work. Uh, the mechanic for the 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, the, the operator of the auxiliary uh, was the from the 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. The from the Monday to Friday, the operator. Uh, similar uh, operator operation supervisor. Uh, they were um, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 
and other groups were in 6 p.m. to from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and the from Monday to Thursday and another group uh, group C A D they were in from Thursday uh, to Monday and uh, finally the operation manager was the uh, from Monday to Thursday and from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thank you for the attention. Only the teacher. All right, very good. Excellent, very good job. This is um, number one. <laughs> yeah. uh, excellent. Yeah, excellent. Like I said, eh, que todos eh, se, eh, se equivoquen de esa forma. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, excellent, uh, Juan Francisco. Um, how do you say motores in English? Uh, engines or motors? Yeah, engine. Yeah, engine. Very yeah. good. Uh -huh. okay. And mantenimiento? My tanks. Maintenance. Maintenance. Uh, that one has like a little skipping. He goes, maintenance. 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 Uh -huh. So it's not maintenance, it's maintenance. It, like, Ma yeah, it skips. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. And um, in the last in the last slides, I noticed you put a lot of the, the simple present, you know, using the S and he checks, he blah, blah, blah. But at the beginning, you were not putting the S. Like, so in, in, in some of them, you put the S and other ones you didn't. So just make sure you're constant. So if you say, if it's he, she, it, you're always going to be using the S, ES, or IES. Okay, so he checks, he plays, he works, um, he watches, right? He um, eh, he flies, he applies, okay? So always make sure there's the S, ES, or IES, okay? Oh, and one more thing, one question. How do you say 20, el año 2021? Uh, 2021. 2021, yeah, right. Or 2021. Mm -hmm. 2021. Yeah, the two forms are valid. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. okay. Um, all right. And uh, okay, before we continue, I'm going to, because we went over um, the time limit that we were supposed to take attendance. So let's do that first. Um, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Andres? Present teacher. All right, Edgar? Present teacher. All right, uh, Janet? Present teacher. Okay, Fabiola? Fabiola, no? Okay, uh, Irene? Irene? Present. Okay, good. Um, Irene, did you already present? Did you present no, yet. No, no, yet. Uh -huh, okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, Ivan? Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Josue? Present teacher. Okay, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Jerry? Present teacher. Okay, Carla. Present teacher. Okay, Melissa. Melissa. Okay, uh, Luis. Present teacher. 
Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Marvin. Present teacher. Werner. Present teacher. Yvonne. Present. Okay, Yvonne. Present. Francisco Javier. No, Francisco not here. Jenny. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, we are going to. We're now going to continue there with the. Um, with uh, the presentations, we just have um, two people, and so let's find out who's going to be first between those two. Irene. Hey. Going to share my report right now. Okay. okay. I'm going to talk about my daily activities, about my coworker. His name is Jonathan Baez. He's a human resources coordinator about attendance, right? And uh, he managed all about attendance, about all the company. Uh, he managed salary payroll, IFP payroll, and is payroll. And he's a customer support too about all the needs our employees. Always at 7 a.m., he has to know about the attendance of the plant who are working in this moment in the company, who are sick, and what, and what, who is, um, who ha have a medical appointment and why. And he makes a report and send to all the managers because it is so important for the company to know about who is working and who is out and who is sick and, and something like that. Then he, at 9 a.m., he is a customer, a customer, customer support about all the needs for employees. And at 10 a.m., he made, uh, he made he start to make different payrolls. For example, he know and who is, I don't know how can I say incapacidad, teacher? You mean incapacidad like uh, that uh, they are sick and they cannot work? Yes. That's a sick leave. Sick leave. Okay. Sick leave okay. Or uh -huh. okay, and he he know who is sickly and about maternities and all of that, and uh, he makes about um, IFP payrolls because it's important to be to be. Uh, to be sure about this activity. And he works in e and is payroll too. In the afternoon, he is uh, a customer, customer support too. Only that. Okay, very good, excellent. Thank you very much, Irene. Okay. okay. So that is only this you so you only presented about Jonathan, right? Jonathan Byatt. Okay. All right. Um, okay, I have a question. Can you okay. 
Can you pronounce this word for me? Attendant. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Excellent. Just wanted to make sure. And um, remember, it's sick leave. So don't don't put them together. It's sick leave. Sick leave. No. Okay. Not sleep. Not sickly. Sick leave. Okay. Sick leave. Yes. Okay. Sick leave. So um, it's separated. And the same thing with maternity leave. Maternity, maternity leave. leave. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. And just be careful to always use the s at the end. So um, you said he know, and you should uh, make sure you put the s. He knows. Okay. In this case, we have to put a z, right? So he knows. Z. Okay. Very okay. good. Though. Excellent. Bravo. Okay. All right. And now there's only one person left, which is jewelry. Okay. So jury, are you ready? Yes, teacher. I'm sorry. Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, well, ready. I am nervous because I am the last one. <laughs> oh, no uh, worries. It's uh, no pressure now. No pressure. Okay, you, you just you're just closing us off. Don't worry. Let me see. Let me share the the screen. Let me see you see my schedule. We can, yes. Well, I am going to explain that the schedule, but even that we don't have uh, the activities, the, the, the activity that we have, there is a sequence and the, 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 the time is sequential time. It is, does activity appear in different moment of the day or the week? Uh, but I, I try to explain in almost the activity that we have, even though that we are different, different countries. In this country, years, we have some areas of the IT department, but I am going to explain some areas the, from IT de department. And for example, we have John that is a manager. He is from another country. Even the, he is 7.30 a.m. here. When he began, he began to work. Almost they have two hours or different with us. And sometimes that is a problem in, in a, this kind of work. Uh, the responsibility that he he has is checked email, emails and new requirement from new system, new reports, and and take requirements of, from users. And we have different time of lunch because we need to have a, we need to someone need to be um, how do you say pendiente or attend to, to take calls? Um, they, they have to be, um, they have to be taking care of the calls. Okay, taking call, take care with calls. Um, taking care of, taking care of. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Claudia is my immediate job bo boss and uh, he checked the mails too and check the plan of the activity that we are going to do the new uh, the responsibility that he she has is a new requirement of queues uh, develop new reports too and new models uh, the new models is an activity that we create that like uh, we go uh, with the user they explain us what they do at the system and we get we get that information from the system uh, without, without know the process, internal process that the program do. And uh, the all the uh, Josue, Luis and Jury, we make almost the same activities. Like uh, we check the emails, check the servers. We have, we have uh, assigned some servers to, to watch 
what happens with every day. If there, there is a problem with some activities or some tasks, and we develop models too, and we develop reports uh, to, to, to the users. And sometimes, almost, we have different time to take a, take, take, take a break uh, to eat lunch. We have different time. And Melvin DB, he, he, is a, he is a database administrator. He is another area. But we have many contact. We, we, have, we have many requirements with the database because we have contact with the, we use a lot the database. And Lisandro is a manager from, manager of developer. The developer, they develop software, all new system that the company needs, they develop. And it is the cycle of that we have there is, for example, John knows what is the necessity that necessity ne, necessity of the co company and necessity. The necessity of the company and we he 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 create the plan of the our project for example uh, the area of developer the developers create the software and the database create the database and we get that information to to show the user what what the system have what is the difference between almost the people when we say develop reports they think that we create a, a, a report that like a, a list or something like that regularly we create a a report that permit that the, the user watch the information with different direction, with different dimensions. And almost this is this is the schedule that we have. And I expect that you you understand me. Okay. Okay, yes, we did. Thank you very much, Jerry. Okay, okay thank you. Um, all right. Uh, you said that who who are the people that um, that have the same kind of job as you? Similar job, you said. Is Luis, Josué, and me? Okay. All Almost right. we have the same activities. Okay, so. good. Just just uh, I wanted to mention something. You originally said make the same activities. In this mm. case, if you don't make the activities, you do the activities. Okay, so you say we uh, we do the same activities or similar activities. We do. The reason why we use the word do and not make is because make means like to create, right? And um, you're probably not creating, you're just acting upon them, right? So, lo está llevando a cabo, right? So, in that case, it would just be do. Okay, all right. Like a chef, like a chef, the chef uh, use the hands. Yeah, exactly. In that case, I can use make. Exactly, yeah. So normally if you create something, you're gonna make it, right? But if you just uh, carry out the activity, then it's do, okay? Um, and- Ready. Yes, but That's but right. in this case, for example, we create something that we we don't have anything about. Uh, we don't have. Uh, let me explain. We don't have. Uh, we create something, and uh, maybe there there isn't the structure, but we create. And I don't know. In that case, we can use make. Yes, but in this case, you have to make something. We don't, but the activity, you do an activity. We, you don't we make build, the activity. We build something in that case. Yeah, but yeah, so you have to say, make a specific thing. But with the word activity, you would have to say, do. You do an okay. activity. You don't make the activity. Let me understand. You use do when it's an activity and make when it's a manual thing or, or como? 
No, no, no. You okay. use so your hands. The word, the word activity ah. usually goes with do. Ah, because okay. You carry out. Do is more like llevar a cabo. Mm, right? Okay. okay. And make implies more about a creation. So okay. you really don't create an activity. Mm -hmm. You most of the time carry it out. Lo llevan a cabo. You don't, no, no. Normalmente no se crea una actividad. La actividad ya está hecha y uno simplemente la lleva a cabo. Teacher, y cuando, perdón, yo estoy, por ejemplo, uso la palabra que voy a, a en el trabajo, yo tengo que crear una meeting, así en Google Meet. Y ahí, ¿qué puedo hacer? Create a meeting, create, así. No pega, I make a meeting, no. No, exactly. You would, no, you wouldn't say make a meeting. Mm -hmm. It's no. create. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. exactly. Because uh, you're, you, a meeting, you don't really create meetings. Uh, you just, again, you carry them out. Uno lleva a cabo las reuniones, pero no las crea en realidad. Crea. O sea, si yo la, lo, yo la genero, a eso me refiero. Que yo Ajá. la genero. Sí, pero, pero eso no es en sí, la, la reunión en sí no se crea, eh, sino ah. que es el... O Como sea, que viene un appointment. Ah, exacto. Ahí se, se crea un espacio, ¿verdad? Para ah, el... ok, no ok. En sí, en sí la reunión no se crea. La ya le capté la idea. Ajá. Yeah. Oh, okay, ok, ok, ok. All right. Thank you. Ok. Um, and one more thing. This is actually something that um, I hear many, many times. Um, people say, um, explain me or explain us but you cannot explain somebody you explain to somebody okay so explain to me not explain me because explain me it would be similar to describe me yeah explicame or say like explain who i am right whereas it's explain to me means that you're going to ask for an explanation about something. Does that make sense? Uh, is you, in, in Spanish, what, what is going to be the difference between explain me and explain to somebody to understand it? Uh-huh. Uh, so it's just basically, in, in, English, in Spanish, it's more, uh, it's, it's not a, it's really not the difference. There's no difference there between in Spanish. It's just the idea. What I want you to understand is explain is used with the two. Okay. Explícame, o sea, es, o sea, me va a explicar algo a mí. But if you just say explain me, o sea, es como que decir, descríbeme. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's always explain to me. Yeah, is that clear? It's like explain a problem, explica un problema. Yeah, explain the problem, explica el problema. So um, you're going to explain the So if you just say explain me, you're explaining who you are. Explica quien soy. That's what you're saying if you just say explain me. Does that make sense? Yeah, Jerry? Yes. Yeah, okay, all right, good. Okay, well, thank you very much, Jerry. You okay. can um, stop sharing there with us. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, excellent. Um, so you've had the opportunity there um, to share with the class to um, and um, be able to uh, correct a little bit of your mistakes. Very good, though. Bravo to everybody. Very, very good job. Okay, excellent. Let's uh, continue there with our presentation. So we have finished this part. And now I also ask you guys to do this part. Write a five line paragraph about the task your boss or colleague does in your workplace. Jerry Ideas with the class. 
in this case, what I want you to do is actually you're going to share the ideas with the class, but mostly in in groups. Okay, so I'm going to be assigning you a small group for you to share your ideas. All right, uh, this is um, from the talking about your I told you yesterday that it would be a very good idea to talk about your boss because most people have not really talked so much about their boss. Um, Okay, so I'm going to get you, I'm going to give you, I would say, seven minutes. Um, okay, and here we go. I've opened the rooms. So go ahead and work with your groups. Eh, me voy a compartir. Un momento. ¿Qué es eso? Um, teacher, uh -huh. yes, sir. Sorry, uh, what is the meaning task? Task, uh, like activity, a responsibility, uh, an activity of a responsibility at work, or any uh, at work it can also be at home, but it's something that you, an activity that you have to accomplish, that you have to do. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you don't have very much time. This is solamente compartirlo de la tarea. Um, no es que tenemos que escribir eh, un párrafo. Sí, pero eso era para de tarea. Lo tenía que haberlo hecho ya. Ah, eran cinco, cinco actividades. Excuse me. Eh, five activities. Five activities eh, or in our workplace. Ajá, o sea, ¿se acuerdan que yo les mostré eso de tarea al de, día de ayer? Sí. Yeah, yes. Bien. Ah, yes. Ah, okay. Okay. You, you didn't yes, teacher. I, I'm sorry. I know the... Yo no lo hice, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Well, then, de lo que ustedes se acuerdan. Just be spontaneous. Okay? Okay, teacher. Just speaking. Don't, don't be writing. So 
va a ir el tiempo, solo tenemos menos de tres minutos. Ok, sí que... Eh, el traffic marshal eh, give the instruction to the driver eh, when arrive to run away. And this is all places in the my work. Yeah, this is all. Okay. Next. Se fue Luis. Yeah. Okay. Probably had internet connection problems. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Found activities of my bot. Uh, I didn't hear Josué. Did you oh, read your Did you read? Did you read yeah. yours, Josué? Yeah, it's, it was the second one. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Okay. So just hang in there. There's about one more minute left. So just hang in there. I'll see you guys in the main room. Oh. Okay. Okay. You can go ahead and you know chat, gossip. Okay. When there is a problem, when there is a problem with the server, and he. He, how do you say llamarnos la atención? The teacher is right there. <laughs> that's why I <laughs> I ask. <laughs> okay. Um, tell off. Say tell that. off. Tell off. Sometimes, for example, one day, one of those, one day this week, I had problem with the server because. Uh, I didn't see a error error that appeared suddenly in the in the log or the the, the <laughs> server, and he tell of me what happened with that error, and I I spent many hours to resolve the problem because uh, other person that support me they don't have a lot of time. Well, that is almost this activity that my boss has now uh, andres tell us about you okay because uh, i work in a city hall the mayor is my boss he is the president of the city council he carry out relation between the city hall and public and private organization and with the citizens and he resolves problems of administration and he is the it's like um a karaoke uh, you you are uh, listen uh, the music mm -hmm. and in the application you can see uh, the lyrics in english and in spanish and this is good for uh, no new words, inspirations, pronunciations. And that I think that is uh, very useful for, for us because we are, we are learning. And the name of the, of the application is Music Match. Music Match. Uh, music Match. And uh, then you can hear... Um, uh, you can listen music in English and you can learn some words and inspiration uh, in this way, I think. Uh, for me, it's very useful. Okay. Can you write if the you, name of... Uh, music person? match, uh, uh, I think I can share uh, the, the APK link. with... Mm, mm, uh, with 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 you uh, in in WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. All right, sounds good. Are you guys finished? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Uh, 
Carla, I have scheduled uh, the tutoring the tutoring session for you um, after class. Will you be able to stay? Yeah, teacher, of course. Okay. All right, perfect. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Recording in progress. Okay. All right, guys. Um, good. So I hope everybody had the opportunity of sharing. Uh, we're going to now move on to the next part, which is actually um, a review of all the things we've seen in Unit 2. There is a reading here, and the instructions are, Read the following schedule of a restaurant manager and write the time for each event, okay? So here we have the different schedule. And because um, there are so many uh, different schedules, I'm going to get everybody to help me to read it, okay? Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign different people, okay? So, all right. Uh, we'll start with Luis. Luis, could you read the first one? Okay, okay teacher. Uh, the first, uh, 90, uh, 30 a 9.30 a.m., open the event. Open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. Thank, thank you. Remember that it's um, it's it's nine thirty, right? So always, uh, uh, yeah. So always remember the the when you say like media in English, we never in sorry in Spanish in English we never say in a in a half. You just say nine thirty. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Thank okay. you. All right, um, Ana Claudia, can you help us with the next one? Okay, 9.40 a.m. Wait, uh, I'm sorry, nine, I'm going to read it here. 9.40 a.m., walk around kitchen, check temperatures in all coolers and freezers. Is that the one? Yes, right, okay. Yes, that's fine, thank you very much. Andres, mm -hmm. can you help us with the, the next one, Nine, 9.50? Okay, 950, create schedule for service, and I don't know how to pronounce that. Bussers. Bussers with and the next two shows that need to be done in their, their shifts individually. Thank you. Okay, next is Edgar. Please help us out, Edgar, with the next one. Okay, uh, 10 uh, o'clock EM, service start to, to clock in. Thank you, okay. Um, Elsie, Janet. Um, 10 30, or 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, I think it's 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10, 10 AM, turn off. All the light and sound system. Turn off or turn on? Turn on all the lights and sound system. Thank you very much. Okay, Heidi, next. At 10 30 a.m., everyone clocks out and have a quick lunch mm -hmm. along with employees, and we walk about what their schedule chores for the day. Thank you very much. Um, Irene. Irene? Okay, 
Okay, 10.50 a.m. Everyone clocks back in and start working again. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Ivan. 10.55 a.m. Open the front door and turn on the open sign. Thank you. All right, uh, next, um, Josue. 11 a.m. Go to the kitchen and check temperatures up ready to eat food and get samples to taste. Thank you very much, Josue. Uh, Juan Francisco. Uh, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, great guest from the kitchen. Make the room from fuel and car and server that get space behind. <laughs> Sorry, could you re repeat that again? I didn't hear you very well. From 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Great guest from the kitchen, maybe from town, field, uh, and car, and serve that get be behind. Behind, thank you. Okay. Run register. Run register. Can you repeat that? Run no. register. Thank you. Okay, very good. Uh, let's move on to jury. Uh, 2 p.m. Clock, clock out and go home. Assistant manager stay in charge. Thank you. Can you also do the next one, number four, the next at 4 p.m.? Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 4 p.m. Clock in. Break is over. Thank you. Okay. Um, Carla. Uh, 4 p.m. Clock in. 4 5. Sorry. 4 5 p.m. Check food temperatures. Again, as well as cooler and freezer stems. Thank you very much, Carla. Um, next, Luis. Okay, uh, for 10 p.m., May schedule for second shift, servers and boosters. Kitchen heat could handle his team. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Um, good. Uh, more, no. Manuel, Manuel Alejandro. Manuel? Manuel there? Uh, okay. Uh, for 4 p.m. Second shift staff uh, start to log in. Thank you very much. Uh, next, uh, Marvin. <laughs> Teacher, excuse me, in why hour? Uh, five to nine. Okay, five to nine p.m. Greet guests, talk to people, etc. Yes. Etc. Don't have to run the register in the evening. Have a part-time cashier in the club from five to nine. That way I focus on more important things. Okay, very good. 
Um, next, um, Wendy. Uh, Nine thirty p.m. We start to do side work. I supervise everything get done right. Thank you, Werner. Uh, 10 p.m. Turn the open signs of unlock the front door. Thank you. And finally, Yvonne. 10, 10 p.m. Enter credit card tips into the CC processor. Okay. Processor. 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 Okay. Very good. Okay, so this is this is a long schedule, right? Starting from 9 30 in the morning, the person has lots of things to do and they finish until 10 10 p.m. So they do like 12 hour shift, like basically, right? Because remember, well actually, no, it's not actually 12 hours. It's um It's actually 14 hours. <laughs> 14 oh, okay. No, the thing is, I remember from two to four, they um, there is a break, right? Because it says clock out and go home. Assistant manager stays in charge. 4 p.m. clock in, break is over. So there are two hours there that we have to take away, right? So that's something that to take into consideration. So it sounds like they're like maybe a 10 hour shift approximately. Okay. okay, now, according to this, let's take a look at these sentences. First is, okay, so, um, so we're going to find out if, um, what is the time for each one? Check the temperature of the kitchen, turn on the lights and sound system, make the schedule for the second shift, open the back door kitchen door and do inside work and finally turn on the open sign. So find out what are the times to do those activities. Okay, give you a little bit of time to do that. Yes. Nine forty four nine forty AM Okay, are you guys almost ready or you do need more time? More time to job, please. Okay, no problem.
Okay, you guys ready? Yes, no? Yes? Yes, huh? teacher. Okay. Yes. All right, perfect. All right, so just open up your microphone and tell me the answers. What time do the, uh, does the person check the temperature at the kitchen? 9.40 a.m. 9.40 a.m. 11 a.m. 9.40 to, uh, sorry, and 11 a.m. 11. Oh. Uh, 405 a.m. Mm. Uh, uh, teacher, nine story is check yeah. the temperature in the cooler and freezer. Right, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Maybe so, just one. Uh, 11. The 11 one yeah. is. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Turn on the lights and sound system. 10, 10 a.m. 10, 10 a.m. Right, 10, 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, make the schedule for the second shift. 4, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 a.m. Right, very good. Open the back uh, kitchen door. 10, 30 a.m. 10, 30 a.m. Right. Do inside work. Night thirty. PM thirty. Nine thirty. PM. Yeah, very good. So it's a little different from the first one, form number uh, four. And finally, turn on the open sign. Ten PM. Ten. 10 p.m. p.m. Mm. Turn on the open sign. 10.45 a.m. 10.45 or 10.50? No, 10.55, sorry. Yeah, 10.55? A.m. A.m., very good. They turn on the light because it, it's open sign, right? You, it's open, so you're not going to open it at night. You're going to open it during the day. So it's 10, 55. Got it? Yes. Right there? You're on the open sign. The open okay. sign. Yes. That's correct. Okay, guys. So, um, what I'm going to ask you guys to do, uh, I need you to make sure that, like I said, I'm going to repeat this. I need you to complete the, um, I need you to complete the, oh. all of the homework from unit two. So that's five different units, uh, sorry, five different uh, pieces of homework, one for each day. That's going to be done for today so that I can put in the grades um, tonight, uh, sorry, to, tomorrow morning. And you also have to do the midterm. You gotta complete the midterm. Okay, todos. Todos tienen que completarlo, okay? So oh, that's why yes. I'm going to let you go right now so that for the people that have not completed it, you have time to complete it, okay? And- Teacher? Yes? Okay. Teacher? yes? It just, uh, do you remember that I told you that I had problem with a sentence uh, and this time I have the same problem, but that is uh, the first section. But I think uh, I can't modify or I can. I guess you have problems with one that the teacher made the correction during the class that we have the water staff. Yes, uh -huh. that's right. And, Working and on will be, will be uh, Good, opportunity, good option to have a um, happy employees, something yeah. like uh -huh. that. So yes. Use the word 
employees for staff. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's it. That's the only change. Mm -hmm. If you do that, it should be right. Okay. But the, I received the wrong message about that sentence. Send me send me a a picture through the WhatsApp group. How do you have that sentence? Please tell me. Hey, let me let me read. Is for example, weekends weekend off will be a good opportune option to have a happy employees. Ah, okay. There is something that uh, with the staff. <laughs> uh, yes, you use a word. There is a, an additional word that doesn't go there. <laughs> Right. Um, I, I try with many ways. <laughs> it's like a puzzle. <laughs> Remember that happy employees is plural. Happy employees, plural. Yeah. So if it's plural, do we use the word ah? Employees. Do, we, do you use the word ah? Ah, uh, uh, will be a, a good option to have a, because I have two ah. Yeah, so. To have a happy employees. No, because employees is plural. So you don't, you never say ah employees. But I have a, a that like, I need like to put students. in some place. I can't say a students. I have to say just students. I have many students. I don't say I have many a students. Right? So just. That, that was the problem. I, I get it. Thank okay. you for solving the problem. <laughs> okay. Okay, no problem. All right, guys. So just remember, um, finish off those two things and you will have a free weekend just to enjoy yourself okay all right so take care see you on monday have a Are you going to take attendance i am okay. <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you okay let's do that quickly um Ana claudia present teacher andres present teacher edgar present teacher janet present teacher fabiola Katie. Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Manuel. Present. Sorry, Ivan. Sorry, sorry. Ivan. Ivan Manuel. Present teacher. A Josue. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Present teacher. Carla. Carla. I know Carla. Carla, <laughs> you having you having as audio issues again? Okay, bueno. Okay, that happens. Don't worry. Uh, Melissa, I think no, right? Melissa, no. Okay, uh, Luis. Present teacher. Manuel. Present teacher. Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Wendy? Present. Present. Okay, uh, Werner? Present, teacher. Yvonne? Present. Uh, Francisco? Jenny? Francisco. Jenny, tampoco. Okay. All right. So that's it, guys. Um, we're ready. And so I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy yourself. Rest and be ready for next week. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Bye. 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 See you. Hi, teacher. You see me and now no see me.
See you tomorrow, teacher. No, see you Monday, teacher. <laughs> yeah, and tomorrow I'm not going to be here. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, see you, Warner. Enjoy uh, your weekend. Thank you. Okay, Carlita. Hi, teacher. How are Hello. you? Hello. Good. How are you? I have a headache. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. ¿Qué le pasó? I don't know. I, no lo sé. Fíjese que creo que es desde hace como cuatro días ando así. Pero no sé si porque no me tomo. He dejado de tomar una pastilla y soy bien. ¿Cómo le explico? Tenía un, mi cuadro de hipertensión. Le cuento. Y qué pasa que Elena la April me la dejaron, pero yo no me quiero tomar eso a cada rato. Vea. Entonces de repente estoy bien y es como que ah ya estoy bien, la dejo. Y cuando ya la dejo, otra vez viene y yo y ahí ando. No, la, la, los medicamentos para la presión. Son Verdad, malos, ¿no? ah, sí. sí. Pero eso es lo que no quiero, estarme como, ay, sí me entiende. Sí, ajá, donde son los medicamentos para la presión arterial y para eh, la diabetes. Son medicamentos que... Hay que tener mucho control, no se puede así dejar, ¿verdad? Es en una supervisión médica. Sí. Porque son bien delicados. Sí, teacher. Bueno, pero de ahí por lo demás, pues todo bien. Ahí ya se imagina trabajando y todo. Bien, este, bien, yo digo que bien. Sí, mejor eh, empiezas a tomar. ¿verdad? De nuevo. Uh -huh. sí. Sí, no la deje. Yo sé que no es fácil, pero eh, entre mejor lo, lo tiene controlado, mejor va a ser su salud. Sí, tiene razón. ¿verdad? Tiene razón. Ajá, entonces, eh, y de, de hecho la, la presión arterial, si no se controla, causa... Desencadena un... otras cosas, cabal. Sí. Sí, tiene toda la razón. Eh, yo sé que no es, o sea, no es nada grato, ¿verdad? Pero... Pero mejor, es mejor tener una pastilla de por vida que tener cinco de por vida, porque no sí. se tomó esa una. Un cóctel ahí de, después de sí, tienen toda la razón. Sí, la yo le digo, yo, yo, bueno, atiendo en muchas llamadas donde le dicen, vaya, ¿y cuántas pastillas se toman en total? Y le dicen como doce. Yo, sí. oh, yo me quedo así como que. Wow. Hay gente que tiene unos estuches. Sí. Unos estuches especiales. Sí, o sea, dinero. Uh -huh. Yuca. Bien, Pero, bien, cabal, bien. Ajá, entonces, eh, ¿verdad? Mejor una que el pasillo. Sí, tienes razón, teacher. Sí, no, créame que le voy a tomar ahí la, la, la palabra porque en efecto realmente necesito estar ahí como más, más tranquila y todo, ¿Y más concentrada. Los tengo que arreglar porque estos son los de mi trabajo. Y yo, por, por no falta de graduación. tiempo. ¿Hola? No es su graduación. La graduación. No, no. Fíjense que gracias a Dios sigo bien. Para decirle que eh, yo antes tenía miopía. Y no hay otra explicación, ¿no? Pero gracias a Dios se me curó. Hoy solo me quedé con el estigmatismo. Y ya, ya es tercer año consecutivo que me hago la evaluación y la graduación sigue igual. Y el estigmatismo okay. sigue igual. Okay. Desde hace... Ajá, entonces sí estoy bien de eso. Lo Pero que sí... Es, entonces están, están sí. bien. Uh -huh. okay. sí. sí, porque yo debe ser que también podría ser la... la... Y yo, ¿Se acuerda lo que hablamos también? Este, yo voy a buscar a, a esa persona porque sí necesito arreglar los otros porque estos no, no me gustan darlos para arriba y para abajo. Ah, Se okay. me pueden quebrar y no, no voy a hacer. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Bueno, bueno, cuando necesite ahí... Eh, para que le, le ayuden algo, ya sabe, ¿verdad? Sí, no lo dudes más, creo que le voy a avisar a usted ya cuando haya ahí hecho el trek. Okay, me parece. Y uh, hablando de por una cosa por otra, ¿hay alguna otra cosa con la que yo le puedo ayudar? Para... Eh, no, teacher, yo realmente este, me he sentido bien, me he sentido, mm, eh, obviamente sí necesito... Pero ya es, ya es personal, ¿verdad? Ya necesito poner quizás un poco más de mi parte en horas no de clase para ponerme las pilas, ¿verdad? Ya trato la manera de, de, de lo que decía Suleima cuando usted entró a nuestro break room. 
este, estábamos hablando de aplicaciones y todo porque ella felicitaba a Edgar por su desempeño. Es uno de los compañeros así como, como Juan Francisco, que yo siento que ellos, eh, Juela, realmente sí ponen de su parte y se ha visto una mejoría y son bien puntuales hasta en las, en las tareas y se les nota que sí realmente quieren a, aprender, vea. Entonces, este, eh, yo, yo siento que parte, yo a veces me pongo a hablar con, con, con mi hermano y, y yo necesito esa fluidez y esa práctica, entonces creo que, pero eso ya es parte mía, ya es como compromiso personal, ¿verdad? Entonces, no, yo, teacher, yo todo lo que usted habla yo le entiendo, yo digo que estoy bien por lo menos en el listening, ¡Ah! Entonces siento que, no sé si le pasa que al inicio uno quizás siente un fuerte, vea, y yo siento que mi fuerte es el listening, o sea, yo puedo estar a escuchar y escuchar a una persona y yo eh, estoy a lo mejor, oh yes, oh yes, oh, ok, ok, pero yo le estoy entendiendo todo realmente, pero ya la, la cuestión de la fluency y quizás tener como una estabilidad en una conversación es lo que siento que tengo que meterle mucho. Eh, usted, he aprendido mucho de usted, así que no, no, ¿qué más le puedo decir? Si ahí solo, le seré honesta, estoy pensando cómo voy a hacer en el próximo porque le conté a usted brevemente que estoy con esto de la U y sí siento el ácido, sí, sí está bien, estoy loca realmente. <ríe> Ay, no, pero... Tengo una bien. pregunta para usted, ¿cómo se ha sentido si evaluamos las últimos tres módulos para acá, digamos los últimos tres meses, digamos. ¿Cómo se ha sentido que ha sido el progreso suyo? Fíjese que en lo personal, yo tuve una experiencia en, de estudiar en la Academia Europea hace como ya bastantes años, creo que fue en el 2010, por ahí. Y, y el, el, la, la, siento que la metodología que está impartiendo inglés corporativo, que creo que es sobre todo inglés para el trabajo, ¿verdad? Que es como que lo, lo que tira Insafor, este... Por favor. Este, siento que a lo mejor en vocabulario, en la academia, yo aprendí mucho y hasta las letritas y los números le enseñan a uno así, de básico, básico, ¿verdad? pero hoy estoy en un básico súper diferente. Estoy en un básico en el que tengo que entablar una conversación, en el que tengo que entablar cosas que tengan eh, que ver con mi trabajo. Cosa que antes es solo, hello, my name is Fulano de Tal, I live in, y nada que ver. Hoy es como que, este, imagínense lo que estuvimos hablando acerca de los tax, tasks de otras personas y así consecutivamente. Entonces es un básico súper diferente y sí he sentido, pero me, me, me gusta porque no veo la diferencia de ambos. ¿verdad? Una es solamente vocabulario, vocabulario, que fue la experiencia que yo tuve, que no fue mala, le diré yo. Me siento súper bien de haber estudiado ahí. Lástima que ya no seguí. Pero este y, y es, entrar aquí, yo siento que, que, que se aprende, se aprenden cosas diferentes. O sea, son, son, son siempre básicos, pero son diferentes. Yo los he sentido diferentes realmente. Y no es única escuela la que he estudiado, porque también fui a, al Centro Cultural. El, el, el primer inicio de inglés para el trabajo, yo hice tres módulos ahí. Empezó pandemia. Entonces, ay, lástima, porque el Centro Cultural es súper chivo también, sí me sentía muy bien ahí y ahora con esta normalidad que nos tenemos que adaptar a que la computadora y toda la cuestión nada de presencial es otra cosa definitivamente sí, sí hace falta pero pero nos tenemos que acoplar a los cambios vea y somos gente de cambio entonces hay que crearnos lo eh, creerlo realmente en la cabeza y, y seguir aprendiendo y, y pero, pero sí me he sentido como le digo bien porque son cosas diferentes de lo básico que se supone que yo conocía vea y sí, lo que tiene que ver no solo del aprendizaje, sino que del desempeño que usted está dando, eh, ¿cómo siente usted que ha avanzado, cómo ha avanzado en estos últimos tres meses? ¿Siente usted de que ha habido un cambio eh, en el desempeño, verdad, de la producción? ¿O siente que está como estancada? ¿O va para atrás? O sea, sí, 
honestamente. Es como, en, en mi caso es como un... No, no me siento que voy para atrás. Por momentos, quizás este, por cuestiones del trabajo, es que sí me, me, me siento un poquitito perdida cuando no me he conectado a la clase. ¿Y qué pasa? Que yo me conecto al siguiente día porque creo que hubieron tres clases que por inventario yo no pude conectarme. Y incluso yo le iba a escribir a usted, pero dije yo, eh, bueno, ella sabe que cada fin de mes, dije yo, estoy bien trabada ya. Entonces, este, dije, bueno, al siguiente día que me conecté, después de haber ido del, venido del inventario, fue como que, híjole, ¿de qué hablaron ayer? Entonces, eh, sí, ahí en un poquito perdida, ¿verdad? Pero medio me puse a, a ver los videos de las clases anteriores y yo, ah, bueno, hablaron de eso. Entonces, y me voy al manual que está en la plataforma y medio leo así. Es como que una mini retroalimentación, ¿verdad? A modo de no sentirme así. Pero no es porque el, el desarrollo del curso me haya hecho retroceder, ¿verdad? Okay. No, sino que es por, por, esa, por esas ocasiones que yo realmente okay. no he tenido el chance. Sí, y eso es lo que debe decir de que um, eh, siempre son las clases ahí para que usted pueda, no solamente es eh, para retroalimentación, sino que para si en caso usted no puede entender por X motivo, usted puede saber de qué se trató la clase. ¿verdad? ¿Saben qué tema me sentí perdida? Yo le digo en cuál. En las gráficas, por aquí creo que lo anoté. En las gráficas y en... The frequency. Y, ajá, y, y la, eh, since, eh, then, and, y, y todas esas. Quiero ver since, then, eh, from, algo así. Eran adverbios de... de no, those were time expressions. Times, esa cabal. ¿Dónde es eso, teacher? Tengo, tengo mi talón de Aquiles en, en esa, de Times Expressions. Tengo mi talón de Aquiles en, en Give Directions, Give Address. Ajá. Y mi talón de Aquiles en... Porque ¿cuál, sí. de los dos, por, ¿Cuál de los dos? Porque son dos diferentes cosas. Las, de, dar direcciones de lugares. Eso a mí me, me frustra Pero como es, no se lo imagina. Que sucede, lo que sucede es que al buen salvadoreño nunca se da una dirección como debe ser, uh -huh. sino que es como, eh, ¿a dónde queda eh, inglés corporativo? Si le pregunta a dónde queda inglés corporativo, ¿cómo le dicen? ¿Le dicen? Yo creo que, que queda en, en la colonia Escalón. Ajá. No, sobre es el correcto. paseo general Escalón. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces le van a decir, ah, por la Torre Futura. Ah. Y esas son las direcciones en el Salvador. Ajá, sí, es ¿sabes? cierto. Más sí, adelantito de la Torre Futura. Sí, cabal. Al de la 52 le decís que te baje. Entonces, eh, eh, entonces eso no es una dirección. O sea, Ajá, sí. No, 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 le está dando, no le está ayudando a, a entender cómo llegar. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, por eso es que, o por ejemplo dicen, um, ah, ¿dónde queda tal cosa? Ah, eh, por el centro. O ahí por Salvador del Mundo. Uh -huh. Entonces, es, solo le dan, le dan una referencia a un lugar. Y es, y es que es cierto, así somos. Entonces, Digo, así somos porque yo así soy. Entonces, entonces por eso es de que cuesta un, eh, un poquito más este tema, ¿verdad? Porque no estamos acostumbrados en el idioma que eh, nuestro idioma materno a poder dar esas direcciones dar, ajá. pero créame que yo cuando es donde son esos temas en ese tema me sentí perdida y cuando tocó lo de las gráficas ahí sí las gráficas simplemente es um, la gráfica era de que en el mes de 30 31 días porque creo que era octubre de 31 días cuántos días de ese, de, de, del mes se daban ciertas actividades y por ejemplo um, un, creo que en una, en San Salvador tenía como 15 o 16 días de los 31, entonces eso era como quizá la mitad del mes, ¿verdad? Entonces, it was, it was like sometimes, or better said frequently. Sería frequently, um, always, almost always, algo así, ¿verdad? Ah, entonces siempre sería utilizando los adverbios de los adverbs o frequency. Exacto. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Ajá, pues esa parte que salió. Yo, yo me metía que era de leer la gráfica y, y como dar algún tipo de. Ay, ahí me clavé. Yo dije, ay, Dios mío, dije, aquí, aquí fallecí ya, dije. No, no era tan complicado. Simplemente era de ver la gráfica y ver cuántos días la, de la, del mes se hacía tan, tanta cosa y comparar, ¿verdad? De ver de que, o sea, de que en San Salvador se hacía. En, la, en el en su curso de San Salvador se hacía tantos días y uh -huh. en del Santa Ana se hacía tantos días, se puede decir. Uh -huh. ¿Okay? Sí, eh, eso, teacher, y pues la verdad es que no me imaginé que iba a llegar hasta este, hasta este nivel. Bueno, le, que, le voy a hacer una cosa. Le estaba haciendo esas preguntas acerca de cómo usted um, compara y todo. Y déjeme decirle desde mi punto de vista como yo lo he visto. Creo que sí, o sea, por, en general tiende a ser una persona más callada, ¿verdad? O sea, no, sí. Usted Ay, sí pasó más callada. Sí, es no sé si es porque tal vez está tan cansada, ¿verdad? A veces el cansancio que juega un factor ahí. Está un poquito más callada, pero cuando yo me he metido en los grupos, los breakout rooms, y estoy escuchando, y usted está eh, hablando y todo, he notado que ha, ha mejorado bastante. La, la, siento es más, la siento más suelta. No sé si yo es soy, que... soy una gran penosa, ya se lo había dicho yo. Es más, si tiene el video ahí, sáquelo para que vea que yo se lo había dicho, que yo soy demasiado penosa. Sabe que tengo un problema, que, que yo no soy una persona sociable. Pero me, me hago, no sé si es correcto lo que le voy a decir, pero me hago la cínica debido a mi trabajo. A mí, mire, yo en mi trabajo soy otra. Si usted me viera, teacher, usted diría, ella se Carla, diría. se lo juro, soy, I'm a very shy person. Bueno, no, 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 no vamos lejos. <risa> Sí, yo en el trabajo aquí soy otra cosa. ¿Verdad? Sí, en, en, que no cambia. Si estamos hablando, si, yo, si, si cambiamos el, el esquema y yo soy la, 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 eh, la alumna en una clase, al menos ¿Usted? hasta hasta que, o sea, sí, tengo que tener, o sea, ya como mucha confianza con las personas alrededor para poder desenvolverme. Pero normalmente al principio solamente me voy a estar calladita, uh -huh. eh, observando y eh, hasta que ya veces agarro confianza, sí ya me suelto. Uh -huh. pero, pero al principio sí soy suerte callada, así que no, no se preocupe de nada. Uh -huh. um, ahora sí, pero también usted, ahí usted se puede dar cuenta, o sea, como yo le, lo he lo, lo podido comprobar, de que uno tiene la capacidad de poder soltarse. Si uno quiere. Sí, realmente no. No soy la misma Carla con la que habló en el quinto nivel. Exacto. No, eso, yo sí. Pero... Traté la manera de, 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 de quitarme ese, eso que, que tenía. O sea, sí fue bien complicado. Quizás todavía me ha quedado un poquito de, um, de, de miedo, desconfianza quizás en mí misma. Pero he tratado por lo mismo. Cuando a uno le gustan las cosas, trata de ver. No, yo, yo definitivamente la, desde mi, mi perspectiva la he visto más suelta. Yo sé que, yo sé que, que tal vez uh, en la clase, ¿verdad? cuando están todos, tal vez mm, se sienta un poquito así como colidita, pero cuando ya veo eh, que es un grupo pequeño y usted entonces ya empieza a hablar, la he visto más suelta. En el caso de la presentación de, de ayer o anteayer, ¿qué día fue? Ayer, ayer, de los horarios. Sí, ¿verdad? De los horarios de nuestro. Yo créame que... Ay, no, yo estoy con pena después. Porque no, no sé si... Y como acuérdese que no escuchaba a nadie. Y yo, Dios mío, va a pensar la teacher que... Y si me está diciendo algo importante. Y yo... Mira qué feo sentí. Ay, no, bien frustrante. No, no te Pasé el oso en mi vida. Y sabe que me dijo mi hijo. ¿Cómo viste pasar un oso enfrente de mí? Y yo, ay, tú todavía no te vuelvo a contar nada. Le digo. Bien. No, tranquila, Carla. Eso nos pasa. Nos, nos pasa a todos. Tenemos 
tener problemas técnicos y todo. O sea, eso es parte de la vida cotidiana ahora, ¿verdad? Porque utilizamos tanto la tecnología y puede fallarnos en cualquier momento. A mí me puede fallar y de hecho me ha fallado. Así que no, no tenga pena o no se sienta pena de eso. Es, eso es totalmente normal. Así que no se preocupe. No se okay, preocupe. Pues, sí, la disculpa de, la, del caso por las fallas técnicas. No, porque <ríe> yo, ¿Será que, porque que no me de entender o no me escucharon? Estoy hablando sola, dije así. Yo no escuchaba nada. Viera qué horrible sentí todo en silencio. No se preocupe. No se preocupe. You did great. Thank you, teacher. Bueno, Carlita, yo sé que, está, que ya está cansadita, ¿verdad? Sí, ya, ya, ya casi ya. me voy a ir a dormir. Sí, ya, eh, sí que gracias ahí por compartir eh, su experiencia y cualquier cosa que necesite, aquí estamos a la orden. ¿verdad? Si eh, alguna inquietud, ya sabe, me puede escribir. ¿verdad? Sí, de Carlos. Muchas gracias, teacher. Eh, un gusto. Ah, Tenga una buena noche. Ay, nos vemos mañana. See you. No. Ay, no. <risa> yo no. Es que yo mañana trabajo. Chera, iba a disculpar. Ah, no, yo también trabajo, entonces, pero, pero no es. Ah, o sea, sí. ajá, bueno. Entonces la mete como que me sigue. Mañana en el mismo horario, mañana en el mismo horario. Sí, okay. Parte de, parte de. Ok. See you Monday. See you Monday. Monday, ok. Monday. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye.